Hi, it's Ken, and because April is National Poetry Month, I would like to talk to you about several of my favorite poets, all of whom have books available on Hoopla that you can check out at any time. Um, first, of course, is the granddaddy of them all, Uncle Walt, Walt Whitman. And I think if you have any interest in poetry, in America, in life, in beauty, um, Walt is a good place to start. Um, you can just kind of dive right in anywhere almost. Uh, he talks about everything from you know, trees to America to desire to, you know, uh, work. I mean, it, you can relate in a lot of ways. So I, I highly recommend Walt Whitman. Um, there are several collections on Hoopla, so you can you know, pick and choose. Leaves of Grass is his masterwork, um, but again, you can kind of jump in anywhere. Um, second is sort of his spiritual descendant in a lot of ways, which is, who's Allen Ginsberg. Um, Howl is his most famous work. Um, and there are several collections of Ginsburg and Hoopla also. Um, this is a good place to start, The Essential Ginsburg, which has not only a lot of his poetry, but also letters and essays and other things, um, including one of my favorite, which is called Who Be Kind To, which is a good thing to think about these days. Who be kind, I'm sorry, be kind to yourself. It is only, it is only one and perishable of many on the planet, which is like a nice thought to keep in times like these. Um, Ginsburg, like I said, was sort of a spiritual descendant of, of Whitman's. Um, they wrote in similar styles. I mean, you can definitely see the influence of Leaves of Grass on Howl. Oh, by the way, speaking of Howl, if you're interested, um, the movie Howl, which talks about the uh, obscenity trial that Ginsburg faced after it was published, um, is on Canopy. So you, you can borrow that with your library card as well. I'm James Franco plays Ginsburg in that film. Um, and the third one, the third person I want to talk about is less well known. Um, and that is Donald Hall, who was the poet laureate of the United States back in 2006, I believe, um, and just died a few years ago. Um, Donald Hall was a, a great American poet um, and was also married to another great American poet, Jane Kenyon. And one of her books, From Room to Room, is also on Hoopla. Um, she died back in the 90s, and a lot of his later work was sort of uh, imbued by his grief over that. Um, but, you know, his work is about a lot of things, like like Whitman. Um, he, he, talked, he wrote a lot about love. He wrote a lot about New Hampshire, where he lived most of his life. Um, he wrote a lot about baseball, because he loved baseball. And uh, anyway, Hall's a... a poet that, you know, is all over the map. Some of his stuff is very accessible. Some of it is very deep. Um, and he happens to be the only person I've ever written a fan letter to as an adult. Uh, I wrote him a letter uh, back in the 90s, and he was nice enough to respond. Um, anyway, so go to Hoopla, dive into the poetry section, find something you like. Like I said, I like Walt Whitman, Allen Ginsberg, Donald Hall, Jane Kenyon, but there are hundreds to choose from. And, and since it's National Poetry Month and we're all home, what better time? Enjoy. Thanks.